Hey everyone, so today is the start of a new week, the third week of staying at home. It is day 15, Monday, March 30th. And look, I have clothes on, I have a little bit of makeup on, and I just did an Old Navy. I didn't film it um, because there wasn't a lot of pieces, but I just tried on a bunch of Old Navy stuff. I'm going to... Uh, keep half of it and return the other half. I'll show you. Actually, I'll just show you what I'm gonna return. So, I guess I had spring in mind because I got these shorts, but I don't particularly. I like the color and I like the style, uh, but I don't like this, and I don't know why I didn't see it on the. Um, I don't mind distressed or vintage, but I just I don't know. I don't not feel it that design. So I'm gonna return that. Um, I got two of these, a medium and a large, and Old Navy is so weird about sizing sometimes. Like, most of the time I'm a large on the tops, but at the bottoms, I'm just not sure. Um, especially if it's like a medium or a large. So, this is the large. The medium fit plenty, with plenty of room to spare. And then this kind of Henley, but if, it looks good here, but when it's on me, it just kind of is, I don't know. Um, so I'm going to return that and then maybe some other time I'll show you what I, uh, decided to keep a couple of tops and the, the green pair of shorts. Um, the reason I am getting dresses because I think we're, I know I had mentioned earlier that I might not go to the grocery store anymore, but the, all of the online grocery delivery services, and I've tried almost all of them are they won't they have no time slots available to deliver and the ones the one that I have always gotten in perfect produce they don't have everything that we need so and understandable right um so we might have to venture out there I'll take you with me we went to a Costco in Jersey and it's pretty tame here I'm glad I was getting nervous. <laughs> Check out what this Costco has. This is whole lamb. Wow. Look, there's a line now. You can't really see it, but we came right at the perfect time. I was just commenting that it's 5 p.m. right now. We're done with, we didn't go to a smaller grocery store. Uh, we might go tomorrow. Uh, but this 5 p.m., so that's rush hour and it's a Monday. It's a Monday rush hour. Um, so that's a good sign, at least, that there's not that many cars. There's still a lot of people out, but um, not too bad on the roads. Sorry. Uh, my grandmother, she got her meals on wheels, but we decided to save it because the neighbors brought over. Sorry, it's so dark. Uh, neighbors gave us... Uh, the pasta and all those meats so I decided to give that to her for her dinner whenever I get a uh, Costco rotisserie chicken which is what I one of the items that I picked up today I usually make a chicken stock and then maybe the next day I'll make chicken soup I'm not sure yet but there's onion carrots celery parsley the chicken carcass and since we had uh, some shiitake mushrooms I decided to add that in there and we'll bring that to a boil and then let it simmer for a few hours. Hi everyone so today is day 16th Tuesday March 31st. I can't believe March is almost over. I was thinking about the vlogs that I'm doing and maybe turning them into a day in the life uh, of staying at home instead of the whole week in the life of staying at home not sure just thinking about it uh, and I did get a package today from Amazon so I had an old desk lamp that I was using that Steve had brought over from his old house and it died I'm not sure why but I did get another one let me show you so I got this one this is the Fugetek LED desk lamp and I did get the white one. I'm going to turn it on now so that you guys can see it. Bam. It's a good one. And it has like a little stand where I could put my coffee. Uh, so that takes up less space. And so this has different 
settings and you could brighten it or lower the brightness but I'm gonna keep it like this uh, so that's reading then we have study relax and sleep wait sleep there it goes uh, but I'm gonna keep it on reading and I got this well because it's kind of dark in this room uh, the only li the main light is up there in the ceiling but it doesn't give enough brightness and I am sitting in front of the window but it's the AC is there the AC unit so it blocks a lot of the light and I just I needed a lamp because it was I don't like working you know it's like one of those things where it's dark and then you're you're like okay this is how the lighting is and then when somebody like brings in a light or turns on a light you're like oh that's what it's supposed to be like so um, I'm happy about this lamp it's really cool looking and I like that it has all these different choices uh, and it does come with a USB on the side and then so I was using my tablet for video meetings or video conferences and it worked okay but it was kind of slow and uh, I don't want to use my phone because sometimes I'm, I will need to use my phone during the meeting so um, I'm gonna use my laptop again but my laptop the way it sits you're seeing me like this <laughs> I don't want to be seen like that so I got uh, I'm gonna try out this it's from pile it's also from Amazon the laptop slash notebook stand so it's like that and then they show you what it's gonna look like I'm gonna set that up after I'm done filming this little segment and uh, I'm excited uh, it's, it should raise up it's adjustable and then you'll see like the right angle like it's instead of like this <laughs> it should be like that so uh, excited about that and then uh, one last thing before I go is I was calculating a few months back when I started YouTube and March was the time that I started I had YouTube before just watching but in March of 2010 is when I uploaded my first video so it's been 10 years since I've been on YouTube that's a really long time and um, it's totally for fun obviously I'm not in it for the views um, but it's just a way to connect with people and to share my life a little bit so that's kind of exciting and um, we did today, so it's around 2 p.m. now. I had a parent-teacher conference, the last one, with my teacher, and it was interesting to do it on Zoom. I really fell for the parents. Um, it's to have this thrown at them where they have to become teachers, and it's really hard, um, and I fell for them. So um, that was, it was a good meeting, though. It was really good, and I'm glad those are over. And we're talking about like when school is going to start, do we think it's going to start again? And, you know, these are questions that unfortunately can't be answered. Um, like they could give us an answer, but it could change. Change is like the only constant thing here, right? Um, things change all the time in the news and like what direction this virus is going in. And so we're all in the same boat of uncertainty. I just made, uh, finished making Madeline's A30 and I'm gonna sprinkle some uh, powdered sugar on it when they're still warm. Trying not to make a mess, but it's powdered sugar. Today is day 17. It is Wednesday, April. I can't believe it's April. First, March just went on for years. And uh, today's kind of an interesting day, weird day. It is my mom's birthday. She would have turned 65 today. So happy birthday to mom. Uh, this morning at 9.30, we had a Zoom meeting. First time using Zoom with uh, the class. And... Uh, it went so much better. It was so it was nice to see everybody's faces and um, some pe some kids didn't weren't able to make it or didn't show up and um, we 
we sang the good morning song, we did some friend of the week stuff, and it went really well. And then this afternoon uh, at 2, we had a group, a grade, pre-K pre grade meeting, just to go over um, the happenings of the last couple of days. We meet three times a week. And then uh, we all received an email about spring break and how we might be working through spring break. I don't know how to feel about that. Because I'm part of a pre-K pre classroom and I'm a para, uh, the workload has been much lighter and it's not really, I don't have children of my own, so I don't have, I, I just, it's not that big of a deal for me, but I could totally understand why that would not work for other people and I don't know, it's... It's a difficult time and difficult choices have to be made, right? So, um, I'm going to make a birthday cake for my mom. And um, I, I think I should get started on it now so that we can uh, we can eat it later. It's almost three, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get started on that. Here is the cake already. I'm about to frost it. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's just one layer. Um, because if I make a regular cake, um, it's going to just sit there for a while or my grandmother will be the only one to eat it. So I decided just to make a mini cake and here is the finished product. I didn't have icing to write happy birthday. So I used these sprinkles and I think it came out pretty cute. Before Dinner. It, it looks so good. I know the apartment. Hey guys, so today is day 18th. It is April 2nd, Thursday, and if you hear voices, I am on a video chat with uh, the other paras at my school, and mine, my sound and video's off just because, I don't know, it's a lot of people, so I prefer to be um, off uh, camera. I am making dinner right now, and that's what's sizzling in the Instant Pot. I'm making short ribs. We love this recipe. I think it was the first one that I tried. It might have been in a vlog, too, where I got the Instant Pot as a gift, and it scared the heck out of me. Like, I didn't know how to use it. So, um, I tested it out, and I was like, if I don't like the way this comes out, I'll probably return the Instant Pot. So, I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see. Yum! Sizzle, Turn of events. I had to transfer the short ribs from the Instant Pot to another pot and cook the short ribs in the oven because my Instant Pot was not working. It just kept on steaming and I know that's happened to me a few times actually with this specific Instant Pot. So I know I knew that it wasn't working and nothing is burnt on the bottom. I know that's one of the reasons why your Instant Pot might not come to pr the correct pressure but that wasn't it and then I even tried to because uh, I was cooking a little bit more short ribs than usual so I took out half of it but that still didn't work thankfully I got mine at Costco and they are going to uh, take it back I'm not gonna buy it again from Costco just because they only sell that one specific version the version I have is the sous B one or SV I'm thinking of getting the Instant Pot Duo Nova or no Duo Plus and a bigger size as well, the 8 quart one. Uh, but I was going to order it today just because I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do without my Instant Pot? But I think I'm going to wait a day or two before I drop the gun and buy another one. Um, but with the short ribs, I made mashed potatoes. Cause you got to have mashed potatoes with or something like rice to just pick up the sauce uh, and then for a veggie I'm not gonna turn it over that much but you guys can see it's the tomato it's tomatoes and mozzarella salad I didn't have basil which was kind of disappointing but I had uh, parsley which I feel like that kind of dish needs some herbs that's what's coming in right now I will try to uh, show you remember to show you the <laughs> the short ribs you know it's 
been an, an again another interesting day uh, i just it's a little overwhelming with this virus and uh, it's affecting so many lives and i'm just really grateful that i'm home with my family and we are for the most part healthy um so yeah it came out so good falling off the bone okay so it is day 19 it's friday april 3rd yes april 3rd <sighs> this week i really have not gotten dressed i'm still in my pjs i think a couple of days i i did but <laughs> Oh yeah, yay. So I just had a grade meeting and uh, it looks like we will be working through spring break, but we, um, because we're pre-K, it's a little bit different as well. Uh, we will still be, be putting content up. Our staff meeting is about to start in a minute. So I just wanted to pop in and just say hi. Uh, later on, we might go to Lowe's. We have ants downstairs and I want to start my garden and I don't really want to get that stuff online. I don't even think they mail dirt through the mail. I try to look on Lowe's. Um, and then maybe we need a few groceries. We're going through eggs like there is no tomorrow, which is, we love eggs, but it's really, um, well, part of that is because Steve is loves eggs and uh he eats them like two or three a day and um oh my stepdad wanted to come over this morning to drop off some of uh my mom's things and i was like you think it's safe i don't know it was i thought it was a really strange request uh, i looked through it i'm gonna re give him back the stuff that i don't want and um gotta get to the meeting now Hey, so it is day 20, Saturday, April 4th, and I, it's, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm making pancakes. Uh, I gave some to my grandmother already, and now I am just making extra, and I'm burning the last one, because you know how the pan, after you cook pancakes for a, a little while, it just doesn't matter if you clean the pan. I, I don't know. It's just everything is turning brown. Uh, <laughs> they're chocolate chips. I decided to make them a little bit more fun. And yeah, that's what's happening right now. I have my coffee and yeah. Okay, so it is day 21, which means three weeks of staying at home. Wow. And then tomorrow, Monday, is going to be the start of week three of remote learning. Um, crazy. I woke up this morning with terrible arm pain, so I could keep my, my, it's my dominant hand, my right hand. I could, like, keep it close, and I'm okay, like, kind of like T-Rex, but if I stretch out or do anything that needs me to use my arm, it hurts. And this is my shoulders are where I keep my tension because this has happened to me before um, and it ha I don't think it's related to the virus just because it started as soon as the stay at home was put in place for my area um, so now it's come out in full force so I'm in a little bit of pain and I don't want to take anything for it um, just because if I do get sick I you know I don't want to be um, I wanted to be the most effective anyway. Um, so nothing really much is going on right now. Uh, me and Steve might go out. We didn't go out um, when I said, I think we, I said we might go to Lowe's. We didn't do that. Um, we want to get some things for the following week. I really would like to try to get it down to just going out grocery shopping once every two weeks I don't know um, sorry allergies uh, yeah so I'll check in with you guys later I totally forgot to say that it is April 5th Sunday <laughs> at Wegmans and there's a line 
Just got home from the grocery store. Uh, we went to Wegmans first, and uh, there was no line when we were looking for parking. But uh, when we started walking up to go inside the store, a lines had started, and they had let I think five people in. And then we were told to stop, and then we were able to go in. I think I'm gonna sneeze. And I, we wore gloves. Um, and then we went to Lowe's, uh, and then we went to H Mart. Um, I didn't get everything that I wanted to get. I want to make bread, and um, can't find yeast, can't find heavy cream. Um, I think. Sunday is probably a bad day to go. I we're probably gonna go in the future during the day and it's it, during the middle of the week. And we got Korean food for takeout. What did you get there? Kimchi sliced pork belly. Japchae, the bangsang, rice. There's uh, tofu soup, and then bibimbap is in there. Bye -bye. The puzzle is all done. It's in the basement now, actually. Um, oh, but we were that. missing... Which piece was it Don't that I just that put in? I think it was this piece right there. And that it was underneath the couch. We couldn't find it for like a week. Yeah, you got my thing. But it's done. I wanted to close out this week's vlogs. I cannot believe we have been staying at home for three weeks now I thought I was doing okay but I guess mentally it's I'm kind of overwhelmed and stressed out I could tell by the breakouts my where I hold my stress the most right over here um, and this my arm is feeling much better now as the day goes by as the day went on it felt much better in the morning it was really painful um, and I've been told because I don't know, it's sleeping, well, I'm sleeping when it's happening, but I've been grinding my teeth a lot more and that's, I tend to do that when I am feeling anxious or stressed out. So I have to find an outlet that I, that works for me, that I can relieve some of this stress because I can't do this every day. It's the when Steve told me that I was grinding my teeth again, which I never stopped, I just, um, he's been noticing it a lot more. It wakes him up, and then he goes right back to sleep before he can wake me up to stop. I, and the thing is, I have a, I have a night guard, and I don't like it because it's, it's, so I put on my top teeth, but there's also a part that sticks on the top of your, the roof of your tongue, uh, the roof of your mouth. And I don't like the way that feels, but I just have to get over it because it's giving me, my teeth hurt, my mouth hurts, and it's probably adding to this because all this is connected, right? And so just take care of yourselves. You know, one thing I did yesterday was uh, there's a, it was a comedy show put on by comedians for other out of work comedians and they have some really funny people that was about five six hours I didn't watch the whole thing but I watched a lot of it and that was a nice uh way to nice distraction and I was laughing so that was good hopefully you guys got a chance to watch it and just take care of yourselves and your family I am extremely lucky again I'm able to be home work from home uh, I'm able to still grocery shop. I have other people with me and I have a roof over my head. Just so many things to be grateful for. Um, but even with all that, I am stressing out a lot. Again, the certainty and just fighting something that you can't see, it's hard. Like the last time that I went out, um, I didn't wear gloves or a mask. Um, but this time I did wear a bunch of gloves every time I went to a new store. And now stores, as I mentioned, are limiting how many people go into the store. But there's still a lot of people in the store. Um, so I would love to order online. But it's they're all filled up. What are you going to do? Okay. Enough rambling. 
please take care of yourselves, and I will see you real soon. Bye.